Hello everyone, Sun the Recebra here, and um, yes, I know it's been a while since we did a Lucid Night video. I'm sorry, I've been having problems with this that and the other, and then I had a sore throat, which means I couldn't do the voices, and I bloody well tried, and it hurt like hell. But yeah, I've still got a sore throat, and it still kills like hell. But I feel really, really bad for not putting up any videos of this uh, over the past little while. So, I am going to be doing it, well, now. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, I'm so sorry that I got so far behind on this one. Um, but I will be continue doing it now. I don't give a damn if my throat is going to die. Because I will do this. Because I have many more visual novels that I've already got that I'm going to go through. <coughs> uh, so, if you hear me coughing or, like, half dying in the video, that is why. Anyway. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. Ah, yes, I remember what happened. Um, we'd just seen this new girl come in, and we are like, How do I know her? And so, like, uh, it, it appears that we might actually know her, which um, probably isn't too good for our Yama. <laughs> What's her name? Misaki Kazahaya, by any chance? Uh, how did you know? Uh, because I'm I'm psychic, I am psychic. So it really is her. I never thought I would see her again, much less in my own classroom. H how I know? How I know? You must have some sort of psychic ability. Yes, you hear God Almighty, he's just terrible. I, there's nothing that can be said. What? I mean, how else could you have known her name? Just yes, I have psychic abilities. Just, just admit. Just say you have psychic abilities. Can you read? Can you read her mind too? What did she think of me? Of course, you would think that. How he came to that conclusion is beyond me. <clears throat> Nevertheless, this seems like an excellent opportunity to screw with him. It'd be a shame not to. It really would. Mess with Yuhiko. Because Yuhiko, Yuhiko or whatever. I don't care. Because he's a stupid idiot and it's funny. <coughs> I press my fingers to my temple. Pretending to tune into uh, Misa Misaki's thoughts. Whenever I hear Misaki I always think of... <coughs> uh -oh. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> His throat is going to kill me eventually. Ugh. Yeah, whenever I hear of Masaki, I always sometime, I always, for some reason, think of Samurai Baya. You know, I've seen all the YouTubers with it, and it's that, like, I just picture him, this girl being Masaki. Ah. Oh! I see. What? <clears throat> she has a huge crush on you. Re are you really stroking his ego that much? Really? But. But. Hmm. Huh? The hicko shakes his leg impatiently as I pause. Oh, come on, dude. You really can't be that impatient. Can you stop thinking for a second? I, I keep getting interference. Huh? Oh, sorry. He actually fell for that. He actually fell for that. He scrunches his face in concentration. Now, you're thinking of, of not thinking. Whoa, you really can read minds. Oh my god, come on! <clears throat> you doubt my abilities? No, I just... Shh, I'm getting something. The hicko clamps his mouth shut. I rub my temples. Mumbling under me, under my breath. Uh, yes, yes, I see so, yes, yes, I see, I see something. Oh, it's, it's, it's coming clear in my mind. Just, just, just what I picked you know this. Yes, it seems she has a crush on you, but she doesn't think you have the courage to talk to her. Yahiko puffs out his chest. Oh God, no! <laughs> As if he were president. Uh, Present with a challenge. Oh no. Don't give him that! No! Do not encourage him! 
I do not want him to be encouraged. No. Ha! As if anything can deter the great Yehiko Ikara from approaching a beauty. Really? <clears throat> Yehiko! This is a writing prompt, not a discussion prompt. Focus on your own assignment. Uh, right. Sorry, Teach. He immediately regains his composure and starts scribbling messily on his uh, composure paper. Composure? I don't know. Paper. That was oddly quick. <laughs> Just wow, he switched really, really fast. Yeah. It is really weird. He usually stays on a topic for ages. This is a lot like me. <laughs> I take a quick glance around. My classmates are hunched over on their desks. Some writing furiously. Some staring awkwardly into space. Yeah, that'd be me. I'd just be like, I don't know what to write! Oh! <clears throat> the most avid one is Elizabeth, who's already on the second page. Lips moving fruitlessly, and her arms bl bluss down her paper. In other words, she's just go da 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 and just write shit down as quickly as possible. I still love her purple hair, it's so good. I'm not surprised. She retains this naive belief that she can actually control her future. <laughs> if you believe you can! <laughs> I can't wait for life to prove her wrong. <clears throat> Why is she on a phone? Why is it that I look at her and I get this strange suspicion of darkness, you know, from, um, Tullivaroo? I don't know why, I just feel like it's a young version of darkness. Misaki, on the other hand, has completely thrown away any pretendence of st uh, studiousness. Okay, choosing to text under the desk with one hand, while simultaneously pretending to write with the other. That is some skill, I, I salute you ma'am, that is really good. That's pretty impressive, actually. Hey, you got the same result. Woo! I take a quick pinch on the arm uh, to check my state of com. My English is still just as good as ever. I take a pinch on the arm and check my state of consciousness. Not dreaming, apparently. It's Misaki Kazuhira in the flesh. Yes. That actually hurts my throat like shit. Ah! <clears throat> right. The assignment. What did it say? Dream job. Right, one page. Well, Elizabeth's already fucked it up. She's already wrote two. God. God, Elizabeth. Can't you even get one thing right? One page, not two. Jesus Christ. Uh, <clears throat> I stare at the prompt on the screen as if it'll provide an answer. <laughs> Everyone does that. It's like, you will give me the answer, won't you, board? No? Oh, shit. Meh. I don't want to deal with this. I definitely, I definitely set my pencil to paper and scribble my res response. One page. <clears throat> As morning classes slung on, slug on, I feel a very prominent gaze burning into the back of my head. It's Superman. Superman's child. Just... Laser vi heat, laser vision, heat vision into your head. I'm gonna get so much hate for saying laser vision. Oh my god, I hate myself. Uh, I refuse to turn around, trying to pit, uh, trying to pierce through my thoughts. Should I approach it or not? Just do it. She's a pretty hot chick. If you don't, this sucker, this sucker right here, will attempt to go and talk to her, and you'll never see her again. When the bell rings, Yeko immediately tugs on my sleeve, his face shining. Dude, I'm gonna talk to her. Who? The new girl, of course. Oh god. She must be shy. She must be the shy princess type, waiting for a prince charming to sweep her off her feet. No! No! No, dear Lord, no! Who better than me to make her dream come true? Just no. Please, no. I think you mean nightmare. Yeah, I I definitely call it a nightmare. Well, good luck with that. You're not coming. Why would I? Surely a Hikari wouldn't be suggesting that he needs help from me. 
To learn, of course. Oh, yes, of course. I work for you, my man. You may end up spending your whole life. A spinster, your whole life. It's like, I don't care. Spinsters are cool. I don't have to use needles to poke people. You haven't snagged a single date in all the time I've known you. Well, neither have you. But I won't mention that. <clears throat> so, like, you had to snag that. Well, neither have you. Uh, so? Or the fact that spinners are exclusively female. Pretty much. So, are you coming? I am, I guess. At the very least, this will ca- uh, this will change- uh, This will be a chance for me to see what kind of person she's become. Yeah, it's true. Still got a phone in hand. It's a cool looking phone. Scre it's that like, screw you Apple, I've got myself a Samsung. It looks like a Samsung. Why am I discussing phones? Yahiko swaggers over to the side of Misaki, uh, Mas Misaki's desk, expertly raising a single eyebrow. As he flips it out, as he flips his hair out of his face. Oh God, no, not that maneuver. Why? Hello there. I brace myself for a slap or a headlock in response, but Masaki only tilts her head quietly to the side, regarding him with a single arched eyebrow. She's that like, what the fuck? Who the fuck are you? <clears throat> Can I help you? Uh. This apparent <laughs> this appears to fluster Yahiko for a moment. Thankfully, he is not the school's beast kind of uh, Casanova for nothing, which honestly merely tells you something about the quality of our <laughs> Casanovas. Wow, actually, yes. Do you have a map? Because before he can even. Finish this sentence. Misaki's finger whipped around her phone with ease of long practice. Oh! Oh! In three seconds flat, she pulled a campus map onto her screen and shoved it in front of his face. Oh! Oh! -ho! Here. Where in particular are you looking for? I was. Wait. Oh! Are you also a transfer student? Just <gasps> what? <laughs> that certainly would make much more sense. Oh my God, she's so cute! Ah, oh! Kawaii levels—they're over nine thousand. Ah, oh, so much sugar and spice, and oh my God. I was—I was just thinking, it's a little strange that a student would be asking me for directions since I just transferred here. I should have realized. You must feel the instant connection of a fellow transfer student. When did you come here? I... Wait. This is a big misunderstanding. I'm trying to hit on you. Oh, I see. Seven out of ten. Oh, wow. Dude, seven out of ten is not bad. Do not... Do not... Put yourself down. I am, yeah, seven out of ten from a girl. It's not bad, huh? I rated your approach. You didn't even introduce yourself. Y you're right. How oh, careless of me. I am the one and only Yahiko Ikara. Surely you've heard of me. I highly doubt that. You wouldn't, by any chance, happen to be the Yahiko Ikara from. Govermatcha from Govermatcha I speaking so uh, uh, the president's aired that Yiko Ikara Yiko's chest practically doubled in size Dear Lord you're stroking his ego Wait what <clears throat> Indeed I am Are you by any chance a fan? The biggest I really enjoy the political stare, and the music is just amazing. This has to be some big joke. Did you know that our pad attack is one of the top trending? And Isumu Times is, has us listed as a viral phenomenon. Viral for what reason? Well, that must be a different story. Congrats, I was sure it would become a big hit. 
No, but of course, even the stars themselves are no match for Carrie. Or the moon. <laughs> I, I think I'll have to leave it there. I don't have much time left. So, yeah. Wow, this was um, definitely, uh, what's the word? Uh, interesting.